glutes and legs. What a session we've got for you tonight, Matthew. Right, on the front mats, on blue, it's beginner, intermediate, and Beth's doing that tonight. That's body weight only. And at the back, we have Hannah, the slightly washed out jumper. She's gonna be doing advanced on the black mats, and she's gonna be using equipment, all right? So it's optional whether you do that. For body weight at the front, I will be giving you two options, so Beth will be doing beginner and intermediate body weight. We'll get warmed up, we'll get stretched off. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Right, let's go guys. So heels up to start with. But really intense to be looking at this. Really intense. I thought I was going to do something, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> was that me teacher face? So we'll get you warmed up guys, we'll get you stretched off, we'll get you started. So really this is sort of three workouts in one. So two levels on the body weight and we are using equipment as well at the back. So you choose which one you want to do. And squats girls. So it's all about the legs and the glutes tonight. Are you ready for a tough workout? So tonight's workout is around about 18, 19 minutes. And then you're done. Right, first stretch you two, grind stretch, arm across. And change legs. So like as always guys, you choose your level, calf stretch. So if you're feeling fit, you can really go for it on advanced. If you haven't got kettlebells or dumbbells at home, that's fine. You can use tins of beans, any sort of tin, change legs. You can use water bottles if you want to. Or you can even use bags for life and just pop stuff in there. And just follow the stretches, guys. So heel into the ground, roll the wrists as well. We'll get the wrists ready to go. So give it your best shot tonight. We've got a lot of different people following at the moment, as well as almost a thousand people across the world. We also have a lot of schools and families getting involved at the moment. And we've also got Hasra members. So welcome to everyone doing the workouts. Last stretch, a thigh stretch. We're going to be starting in about 20 seconds. First exercise is going to be something called front squat. Are you ready? Yeah. One with three, two, one. Let's go. So for this one, guys, you can just do a normal squat like what Beth's doing. Or you can do a weighted one, like what Hannah's doing. The squat's a really good first exercise to get your workout started. It activates most muscles, even the core. If you're doing body weight, or if you're doing any of these, keep the tempo nice and slow, nice and controlled. It's not about speed. You see a lot of people doing squats at speed, you get more benefit putting the muscle under tension for a bit of time. It's only 30 seconds per station. And thrusters, let's go. So you can't do bodyweight thrusters. Or you can use dumbbells. Again, you can use bottles of water or tins for this. Should be feeling that in your legs already? Yeah. Yeah, good. You'd think I know what I'm doing, wouldn't you? <laughs> Hannah's chose five kilos tonight. Interesting choice. Five. Keep an eye on which dumbbells she uses all the way through. Keep going, yeah. 
and front squats again. Using dumbbells, you can just use the one. Hold it round your chest. If you're doing body weights, just a normal squat. With squats, guys, just try every time you work out to get lower every time. Don't worry if you've just started out and you can't get down that low. It will progress over time. Remember, keep your spine nice and straight when you're going down. Don't worry about leaning forward though, that's natural. And thrusters, last time. Well done, thrusters. And then we've got another two exercises coming up. We're doing each exercise twice through. Thought you were trying to tell us something there, Beth, but you were just breathing. No, I'm just shocked how much I swear I've got my well done everyone at home, keep going. Really good start. With the warm up, we're up to six and a half minutes already. You can tell which one's doing beginner. Beth's got a smile on her face. Hannah's chewing her own tongue off at the back. Nelly there. And rest. Right, if you can go sideways for this one, split Bulgarian squats. It's best doing no weight. Hannah's doing one weight around the chest area. Three, two, one, let's go. So it's one leg at a time. Good. So Hannah, if you back, back off a little bit, just so we can get you on camera as well, that's it. So, yeah, perfect. So if you look at the angle of the legs, guys, as the knee goes down, it creates a 90 degree angle on the legs. Both of them are doing really well, they're well trained. And if you look at the angle on the leg at the front as well, they're both 90 degrees as well at the bottom. Change legs, well done. Again, the only difference is weight on this one. And weight obviously increases your weight which makes the exercise tougher. Good start, girls. How are you feeling? Good. You feeling that? Good. <laughs> Nearly there. And side abductors, lying down on your sides. Again. Beth's doing body weight, Hannah's doing weight. So as you can see, Hannah's lying the weight on the side of her leg. Whatever you're using, just pop it on the side. With this one, guys, make sure you're directly coming to the side, all right? What a lot of people do is they turn their body slightly so they're lifting using the thigh rather than the side of the leg, abductor. And again, it's just a slow, nice, easy movement. Nearly there. Try not to fall asleep there, Beth. And change sides, well done. Again, controlled. Change the weight to the other leg. Well done. Good start, well done guys. <laughs> That's a good sign. It's working the correct muscles. Well done everyone at home, keep going guys. It's a good workout this, you'll really feel it. Glutes and legs. And split Bulgarian squats. Well done. Other leg. Well done. So whichever leg you started with, go back to that. Doesn't matter, it's, not, it's fine, it's fine. Nice and slow. Bit deeper there, Hannah. Thought you wanted to do there. Good. 
As you can see, the girls are getting 90 degrees again. Back leg, a touch forward, Beth. Just a touch, just an inch. That's it. Lovely. Nearly there. And change legs, well done. Good. That's what we want. When Beth's legs are starting to get sore, she starts chewing her fingers. <laughs> well done everyone at home. And side up doctors. Well done guys. Last one, then we're changing the exercises. Whether you're doing body weight or weight, keep driving on, you're doing really well. Amazing to see so many families doing the workouts at the moment. Good for everyone of all ages. But an amazing feedback from an 84 year old who gets involved every week. Amazing feedback. Not all about aesthetics, it's about mental health as well and it's about functional fitness. Change sides girls, well done. Just when I start talking, Hannah's like, oh how, he's off on one. He's off on one. He's feeling it. Good. Last one, and then we're changing the exercises. We've got two more squats coming up. 10 seconds of this left. And two more squats, well done. So with two more squats guys, it's just as it is, sumo stance, so it's a wide stance, and that does hit the glutes more. Toes slightly out, like the girls are doing. So it's body weight, or using weight again. Really good. Good. With this one guys, as you hit the bottom, try and squeeze back up, using the glutes and the legs. Nearly there. And reverse lunges. Good. So if you want to split again guys, so we can see it, that's it. Reverse, so standing still. Standing up, right, one back at a time. That's it, good. Good. With this one, guys, you can either do alternative legs or you can do one at a time. I'll tell you when it's halfway. Uh, halfway now. Again, you can use weight, or you can use nothing. Quite tricky this one. If you really struggle with it, some people do. I'm not very good at reverse lunges. You can, you can lunge forward, that's fine. Absolutely fine. And sumo squats again, well done. Excellent. You should be feeling that now if you weren't five, six minutes ago. Guys, we're flying through the workout. We've got one more on this, these two, then we've got another two exercises, then a little blast, and you're finished. 15 minutes gone already. And reverse lunges, well done. So like I said, if you struggle with these, 
You can do forward lunges. You choose. And again, you can either do one leg at a time or you can do alternative. One leg at a time is quite intense. Change legs. Keep going guys, I'm absolutely amazing. Well done you two as well. Feeling good? A lot quieter now, aren't they? We well, were chatty lit earlier. Smiley, chatty. Beth sings a lot when she's hurting. And have a rest. Right guys, tricky one. Double curtsies. So I want you to imagine you're meeting the queen on this one and you're doing a curtsy. Hannah's doing it with weight. Beth's doing it body weight. So it's a double. So go down, double, then back up. Go! <laughs> That's good. So remember the leg needs to go across, not too far back. Keep it nice and tight. Knee just behind the heel. Foot not too far back. Knee just behind the heel. Good. Well done, guys. Again, you can use weight. Makes it a lot tougher. You can always build up to that as well. So these workouts you can come back to again and again. So if you like this particular workout, you can always come back when you're feeling stronger and use some weight. Whether on you, the YouTube channel or they're in the Academy Hub, they're always going to be there for you. That's a beauty. They're not a one off. Squat thrust, guys. So, for this one, Beth's stepping in and out, Hannah's jumping in and out. Well done. You can either lead with the same leg and then halfway lead with the other leg. I can change halfway through Beth if you want to change your leading leg. Keep going, Hannah. Well done. Let's get this gets a heart rate going. This one. Eighteen minutes gone, guys. Two minutes left. And double curtsies. Well done, you two. Three, two, one. Double curtsies. So again, remember the knee is just going behind the heel, just a little way across. After this, if you're ever fortunate enough to meet the queen, you know what to do. Keep it going. Excellent. Are you feeling it, girls? Yeah. Remember, guys, we want loads of feedback. Was it tough? What did you enjoy about it? What did you hate about it? That's fine. What would you change about it? If you've got a sweaty selfie, send it in. And what for us, guys? Guys, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Last minute and a half. Keep going. And stop there. Right, two exercises left. Once through for 20 seconds, then you're done. Okay? First one, burpees. 20 seconds, that's it. In three, two, one, burpees. Let's go. So one's stepping out, stepping in, standing up. One's jumping out, jumping in, jumping up. Good. 
With boobies, guys, make sure your hands are on the floor at the same time as your hands before you jump back. You see a lot of people jumping into the baby. Excellent, well done. Two different levels. Last exercise, jumping lunges. Beth's doing alternative lunges. Well done. Last exercise. Make sure your knee goes down. This is the end. See, even the most advanced away struggles. It's good. Keep going. Last 20 seconds. Well done, everyone. We're nearly done. And stop there, guys. Guys, really well done. I'll just pause that. Really well done. Absolutely amazing. Right. I don't want you to just walk away and do nothing and eat your tea. What I want you to do is stretch down properly, all right? So on the YouTube video in the description, there's a five or 10 minute stretch down. Make sure you do that, all right? After this workout, we've got lots of different workouts. So Pilates is coming up. We've also got boot camp coming up. So, but really well done. How are you feeling, girls? Tough? Yeah. Tough? Remember, we want loads of feedback. So any feedback you've got, it will improve the service. Whether you think it's good or bad, it's all good, all right? Really well done, anything to add? No. No. Make sure you stretch down and watch your ears, all right? Well done, guys, amazing.